I'm Dr. Ingrid Skopp. I'm a, a board-certified obstetrician gynecologist, and I'm the vice president and director of medical affairs at the Charlotte Lozier Institute. My father was a pediatrician, so I went to medical school thinking that I would want to follow in his footsteps as a pediatrician. But when I delivered my first baby, I was hooked. I love the unborn human. As an obstetrician, that is my primary focus, caring for women in pregnancy and delivering babies. I've delivered 5,000 babies. I've been an obstetrician for 30 years. As I practiced, however, I also began to realize that many of the women that I cared for had been harmed by abortion. Some women did have physical damage from uh, their experience, and many had mental health problems afterwards, anxiety, depression. They had regret and, and um, uh, feelings that they wished they had not made that choice. It harms the emotional that led me to speaking up about it more and more. Surely we can acknowledge that not every woman will benefit from this decision. In a way, I'm not only a voice for unborn children who are harmed by abortion, but also for their mothers. A woman's body is designed to bond with a child hormonally. Regardless of how a woman thinks about her pregnancy intellectually, her body doesn't know that. Her body bonds to that child. And so to break that bond, is harmful to women, even if they don't recognize it at the time. Charlotte Lozier Institute is a fabulous organization. It's a think tank whose mission is to address science and statistics on life issues. So we are looking at the um, scientific facts and in many cases, we're creating peer-reviewed literature to help really get the evidence to back the pro-life position it is very difficult to have a rational discussion about abortion, unfortunately, because it is highly emotionally charged and politicized. Um, people immediately um, kind of withdraw into their, their camp of, you know, my political party or people who think like me. But it's really too important of an issue for us to do that kind of lazy thinking. And I think only when we are willing to, to take off the ideologic blinders and look at the evidence, are we gonna be able to have a legitimate conversation in our country about this.